you guys remember from the last video that we had to replace these vents and remember how that bathroom vent sounded. On. Sounds a bit sick. Uh, making a caulking template to go around the outside to keep the uh, caulk line clean around the edges. And uh, if you have a, uh, you know, like I have like an array of different hardware, you know, that I collected throughout the years. I keep them up there and I found for myself a little washer. And it's about a, maybe less than a quarter inch. And what I do is I just take this pencil and I just trace around here with the washer in place and that gives me a, a good cutout. So I can't one hand this so I'll draw the line and cut it out. Well, I cut out the center and it leaves that little gap there about a quarter inch around to keep the caulk line nice and trimmed. And I'll throw away this extra. I hope this thing is going to be able to come off easy. So it looks like they put a bed of that sealant on there. And just mash this down on it. down in the motor to see if there's a way I could retrofit the old stuff in here and even the motor on the new fan is different so unfortunately this whole thing does have to come out well this was kind of a messy job and it looks messy right now I actually just took this razor blade holder took the plastic scraper out of it and used a razor blade and I kind of cut around the edges just to kind of pry it up but the whole thing was sealed with that sealant. So I used a, uh, a hide putty knife and I just wedged it in underneath all the way around until I could kind of pry it up. And uh, it's messy. It's going to take a while to get all the glue off. But then I'll have a brand new plumbing vent over here and a brand new bathroom vent fan evacuation fan, fart fan, whatever you want to call it. I was a little bit surprised to find that it's got foam insulation in between the inner shell and the outer shell. I wonder if that extends all the way around the top. If it does, that's really good to know. And that's a pretty good bit of insulation really for a camper van. I've kind of found that if I took this scraper and laid it down at an angle, just kind of saw back and forth, that it stays off of the surface of the fiberglass and just peels this sealant away on the other side. You can see it does it fairly cleanly. And once it's real thin it makes it easier to scrape away with the plastic blades. So there's a tip for you. I would not try this on a painted surface, either painted fiberglass or painted metal. But on gel coat, it seems to do well. It doesn't harm the surface if you're careful. You just have to keep the blade at the right angle for the bevel, and you'll do okay. Just work carefully and take your time, and it's much faster than trying to scrape it 
with a plastic scraper or something else. A word to the wise, keep several new razor blades handy because removing this directly from the gel coat works best when the razor blades are brand new. Like if you were to scrape one past like one of these screw holes, you know, let's say you were scraping, you're going and it touched the screw hole right there, it would ruin the edge of it. And so how often do I change them? I change them as soon as they're not slicing right through it nicely like they did from the beginning. And I've gone through about eight. I'll probably go through a few more. It's almost done. And when I get it really thin, acetone just rolls off that really last thin film that's left. I don't know if you can see it, but it seems to roll that right off. Well, after a good couple hours, uh, ladder time and a razor blade and some acetone, and some scrubbing, I've got it off. And the sun's starting to go down on another kind of breezy day. So I'm probably going to pull the van back in the van cave and uh, install these tomorrow. Well, I have everything set up. I've got this on top, if you notice, it's the exact replacement, so all the holes line up. That's good news. I have my caulking gun with the sealant. I have some soapy water and the screw gun. So I'm just going to put the caulking on there and screw it down. Should be as easy as that. And there it is, all complete. Easy. Now I set up a little 12 volt power supply because I'm of the opinion it's always good to test out before you. And there it is. The little engine's gone. So you just want to make sure that when you buy something used off of eBay and they say it's in like new condition, you want to make sure that it works before you put it in and put all the sealant all over the place and screw it down. It's always a good idea. And these little 12 volt power supplies help that. Next up is the exhaust fan. I've got it uh, lined up, all the holes lined up, so that's a direct replacement. It should be easy also. So I'm going to cock this in and screw it in. Wire it up. Be right right, it's all cocked in. Now we just take and remove this give it a nice clean finish and it's done and when you do this you want, always want to make sure you got your weep hole towards the downside that way if any water bounces inside of here it'll just come out the side and Go down the side of the van. All right, it's all buttoned down, good as new. I'm happy with that. Direct replacements are always the easiest. Well, I better go look out in the uh, parts bin and see if I have some more of these straight connectors. I think I do, because these aren't reusable. Because once the inside is all crimped, will it focus? Probably not. I have to just pull those off, put some new ones on. Like I said, these bins come in handy if you do a lot of projects and stuff. And I think this is the one that the doctor ordered right here. And those are straight electrical connectors. I'm in luck. Well, this is a new crimper, or a new uh, connector. And I uh, just insert the wire there. Take a pair of pliers and you pinch them off and they hold them in there and protect them from the elements. Well, they're all connected so I'm just going to tuck them up inside real neatly and put on the uh, valance to make it look pretty.
So if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. And as always, subscribe if you want to get future updates or future notifications of videos that come out. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.